Hey everyone, it is Inspired Joe Mint, and today we're going to be doing Domino's cosplay tutorial look. Don't mind my really bad makeup, but just go ahead and dive right into this cosplay and see how I did. Now, I know for Domino's cosplay or character, there's a lot of different outfits, whether it's fan-made, movie-based, comic-based, or action figure-based. But this is my version from this picture that I actually found, and I will list all the items of what I gathered for materials that are best for her. So please look at this list, and if you ever need to pause the video or either come back to it to get those items, that is totally acknowledged as well. But enjoy the tutorial. For starters, we're going to actually start off with a 4 extra large t-shirt, which I should have got a spare, which you'll see why later, and a large for a jogger's pants, which both items I actually received at Walmart. I did chose it this way just because it is easy for cosplay conventional reasons instead of one bodysuit. Next I'm actually going to do is the fitting. So I'm going to actually do the pants first and sew those down, but here are what they look like before I even get started on any sewing parts so you see the demonstration. Now that I have the fitting I want for the pants, I'm actually going to go ahead and sew it down to make sure everything is slim and thick for my domino cosplay. And then we're going to start on the top half of her actual bodysuit. Actually have finished your fitting for the legging of the pants, you're going to proceed on doing the top part of the bodysuit. The top part of the bodysuit is going to be consisting of using a runner's tracksuit jacket as a pattern and then you can do the sleeve patterns later on, on another piece of fabric or another shirt. Unfortunately for me, I didn't have another shirt, so I couldn't do that. I had to salvage whatever pieces I had left over, so please learn from my mistake. Now once I've salvaged the pieces, after making my base of the shirt, I'm actually going to start on the sleeves. And this is how the sleeves would look like because I salvaged some pieces to make each part of the arm. So once again, get an extra shirt or extra material. Don't be like me. But this is how the shirt looked once I've actually sewn it together and I'm going to add in the zipper. So you're going to have your top part of the bodysuit and the bottom part. You can choose to either tuck it in or leave it out with the zipper. I personally tuck it in because that's just how I am. But it's easier for cosplay uses and bathroom uses. Two for one, okay guys? Now let's get started on Domino's belt. So here are all the items that you would need to make Domino's belt that I made from just using scrap items. If you need to see the actual details of which items are which, please go back in the beginning where I did say which actual items you would need for the exact belt materials. So first we're going to actually cut up some circles and do it for the thickness of the X on Domino's X-Men belt, or X-Force belt, if you really want to go there. Remember that black bag that we had earlier? So you're going to use your scissors and cut out the bag's actual holder piece, which is actually just that long string that just holds it for the bag, so the purse is handles. We're going to cut those out by cutting it on the seams and making it into a belt form. Now if you can see in this actual clip, I'm actually testing out the belt to see how I want it function. Right here you're actually going to use this back little piece as a guide to show you the back of the belt. So you know where the front of the belt is going to be. Now using the back of this buckle that I have seen here, we're going to use that as a guide so we can see the front of the belt and also where the loop is going to go so that you can fasten it to your fitting. Okay, so remember humans, before you actually put the X4 symbol on top of the belt, we're going to go ahead and put a little piece of a divider or a marking to show where the actual fitting of the belt is going to lay on your body. I'm using a piece of tape because I couldn't find a piece of fabric chalk or a white pencil, so I'm going to go ahead and lay that out. Then I'm actually going to start proceeding on putting the duct tape and then finding out where I want to put the X4 circle on the actual belt. If 
For the structure of the belt, I'm going to actually go ahead and cut out the X on the X force of the circle of the belt, and then I'm going to put the inner back lining for the circle so that it kind of stands out more clearly. Then I'm going to use a hot glue gun to either glue that on, or you can use fabric glue, which I found more useful than my glue gun because the glue wasn't strong enough. Now go ahead and feel free to get your spray can and your toy guns out so that we can get started on Domino's accessories. Now let's get started on making Domino's guns. Sorry not sorry about the boob shot by the way. For all the smart kids out there, before you start spray painting, you need to actually go ahead and use painter's tape or any kind of tape related to this to cover up the important parts, like the parts that make it don't look like a real gun, which I'm going to proceed with that. Then I'll start spray painting in a safe box that has newspaper, because that actually prevents it from getting onto your concrete, whether it's your garage, your actual driveway, or your patio of your apartment, like me. Now please remember to do this at a safe distance. Please don't be too close or too fast. To speed up the process, I actually used a blow dryer in between each coat after waiting 15 minutes, but that's if you're really in a rush. But I normally wait around 30 minutes to an hour for each coat so it doesn't get too sticky and it actually stays together. To get a better perspective of what it's supposed to look like for the outfit so far, this is what I have put together. I will go ahead and do some final finishing, which is like putting some darts on the top part so it's a little more fitted. Now that I have 90% of most of the costume completed, we're going to get started on making the holster for Domino's gun. So now once you've picked out of the three guns that you have, choose one of them to put in the holster for most of the time, also for show, and that you're not going to really use. I chose my Nerf gun because it's a little hard to use when I'm playing around with it for cosplay, and I'm going to use this shirt as part of the base so I can make the strips for the holster, and one part of the holster, the other side of the two-piece, is just going to be like a thigh band, but feel free to watch this and see how I made it. Once I've actually traced and outlined my gun holster using my gun that I'm going to be using to put in it, I'm going to go ahead and sew it up and attach it to the thigh band. Then I'm going to proceed to making the secondary thigh band for the opposite leg. Once you feel like you found the right area to make the firmness of your thigh band, please go ahead and hold it with a sewing tack and then proceed to take it to your sewing machine to finish up the sewing. Once each side band is finished, I'm going to go glue down the hems of the holster using my fabric glue, which holds really thickly so it keeps the frays from fraying. But once you have that, you have a completed gun holster for Domino. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is the ending concluding of my Domino cosplay tutorial. Hopefully you guys liked it just as well. Leave a comment and subscribe and like this video if you want to see more cosplay tutorials. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness and I am signing off. Bye!